You're watching Brass's Valley This Morning on KBTX News 3. Terroristic threats in Brazos County schools have more than doubled in the last two years, and the district attorney's office says they're taking these very seriously. News 3's Kendall Hogan has more on what happens after arrests are made. Wednesday morning, a student at a college station intermediate school was arrested for making a terroristic threat. This is the 15th arrest in the county since August. Uh, in our community, we take terroristic threats at schools very seriously, and we do not tolerate this kind of behavior. Just two years ago, the number of arrests related to school threats was six for the entire school year. I don't think the DA's office, in light of how many of these things are occurring, has any choice but to make a statement. KBTX legal analyst and local attorney Shane Phelps says after a student is arrested, they'll be transferred into a youth jail until they face a judge. But generally speaking, they're going to handle each case, case by case. They're going to try and figure out what's going on with the kid. Was this just a stupid comment or is there something going on here that we need to be worried about and we need to address? The Brazos County District Attorney's Office is moving these cases quickly. They say many of them have already been disposed. Either a trial, if we can't agree on what we're going to do, or um, probation, or a placement in a therapeutic environment, or even up to and including youth prison. To help get the message out that threats like this are not going to be taken lightly. This is really kind of the modern equivalent of yelling fire in a crowded theater. It's just, it's one of those things that you cannot do and, and cannot be tolerated. Kendall Hogan, News 3. Police say the P3 app is a useful way to report any kind of threats to local authorities.